What's up guys on YouTube, the Razor guy is back after a long time with another Razor video. So let's get started with the video. So guys, in this video, today we learn how to install the official xt910 retail.en.eu jellybean update on the Razer xt910. So about 2 to 3 months ago, you guys must be remembering that I released a video for the Razer xt910 users on how to install the jellybean on their phones because Motorola at that time accidentally pushed out the jellybean OTA for the Droid Razers for the xt912 users in the USA and thanks to the great people on XTA, we were able to run it on our XT910 phones and now after a long time, that is after 3 months of that accidental update, Motorola has finally announced and released the official Jelly Bean for some selected devices of Razer. What Motorola has done is, they have selected several regions in Europe and they have given out updates to all those regions. And as far as I know, they have given it to only selected countries in Europe. Other than that, I don't know much about the update. And this update is a retail.en.eu update. So yes, this is a retail update. So congrats to all the people around the world who own a retail razor. Then you are free to go with the video. You can follow the video and update your device to Jelly Bean. For all the people who own a branded phone, I won't recommend you guys to follow this video because I am not sure whether this update will work on your device or not but if you guys want to really test out Jelly Bean for the Razer then you guys can visit another thread given in the description there you can read the latest update procedure because I have updated that procedure and you can easily install the Jelly Bean ROM on your phone most of you guys must be running the USJB for which I released a video about 3 months ago and if you guys are hesitating on how to go back to ICS, don't worry, in my video, I'll show you guys on how to go back to ICS. Now, but there's a catch for this update. The catch is, you guys don't have a fastboot file for the Jelly Bean Razor up till now. So, once you have upgraded to Jelly Bean, there's no way you can go back to ICS. So, it, this update is not downgradable and you guys will break your phone and there's no solution for that. So you guys must be aware of this thing and you should do it on your risk otherwise I will not do anything, I can't do anything for you because it will be out of my hands. So anyways now let's begin with the update. Before beginning the update, I would like to tell you that this is also my first time updating my device to retail.en.eu jelly bean. So this is also, this is more of a like a uh, first time upgrade for me as well as for you guys. So, I want to show you guys the current system version which I am running on my phone. Here you guys can see that this is the US Jelly Bean which I am running on my phone currently. So now let's begin downgrading our device back to ICS. But before doing that, I would like to tell you that you guys must charge your device pretty well. You guys must be having a battery life of at least 80% or so. That's a recommendable battery life. Otherwise, there may be a chance for you to break your device then the next thing which you guys need to do is that you need to make sure of the region from where you are coming from what I mean to say is suppose you are an Asian user and you want to flash the retail.en.eu update of the jelly bean and you guys if you guys remember you guys had to delete your CID in order to put the USJB on your device so that you can run it perfectly fine on your phone so if you guys have backed up your CID running that region that regions ROM that is Asian regions ROM first you guys need to flash back to Asian region ROM that is you need to flash back Asian ICS and then you guys need to put in the European ICS because European ICS is the basis on which you guys will install the OTA and the European version which you guys will need is 672.180.41 and there will be a link given in the description to download the fastboot files so now let's begin with the first step for that we need to boot into AP fastboot mode to do that 
just simply switch off your device and now hold the volume down volume up and the power button all together at the same at the same time and then go to the third option which is which says ap fast boot go down using the volume down button and select it using the upper volume button now after doing that just simply connect your device via usb to the pc so now first up what you guys do is download either rsd lite or eternity project flash it tool i have always used eternity project flash it tool to flash the fastboot files in my device so i'll be using this tool for my tutorial you guys if you guys are comfortable with RSD Lite, then you can go with that. But I prefer Flash It tool for my work. Now, link to download this tool is given in the description. Now, first of all, you download the ICS file of your region. First, of, the, of that region of which you have backed up your CID. If you are an Asian user, then download the Asian password files and then follow the procedure as I am doing it right now. After you guys download your password files, just make a folder of password files and extract that RAR file in that folder. And now, after doing that, just open the Eternity Project Flash It tool, copy out all these four files and paste them in the password files extracted folder, which you did just now. Now after doing that, just simply first double tap this EPRJM fastboot application and then just simply tap on flash me file. Now you guys just sit back and relax. The tool will do the work itself. Now after the tool does its work, your device will directly boot up into your stock recovery. So now after you guys enter into your stock recovery to see the instructions, just hit the volume down and the volume up both button at the same time. And then first of all go down to wipe data and wipe your data first. And now after doing that, just wipe your cache. And now once this is done, just simply hit reboot system now. Now you guys must be remembering that until or unless you guys restore your CID, your device won't boot up. So you guys need to power down your device, force power down your device. To do that, just simply hit the volume down and the power button both together at the same time. And now your device will shut down. Now after doing that, first of all, we'll restore our CID so that we'll be able to boot up our device properly. To do that, we again need to go back into the AP fastboot mode. Sorry guys, I messed up this part, but remember you need to hold the volume down at the power button both together at the same time for at least 10 seconds and there you will see a screen flash on your screen. Once that's done, then hold the volume down, volume up and the power button all three at the same time and then enter into AP fastboot mode 
and then after entering again into AP fastboot mode just connect your device via USB to the PC.